Have a positive attitude. Think positive. Don't focus on the negative. Always try to be positive. Blah, blah, blah. In today's day and age, that's all we hear. We hear self-help gurus always talking about being positive and thinking positive. But guess what, boy? Today we're talking about something completely different because being positive 24-7 is bullshit. We about to talk about it. Shout out to the gang, y'all. Let's go. What's good, Dark Knight gang? I'm Neptune. All right, bro, look, I'm going to make this video short, sweet, straight to the point. Let's just talk really quick. Most people who try to better themselves, most people who want to better their life, they always go down the self-help route. And of course, we want self-help, self-improvement in order to become better. When you go down the self-help route and you watch videos, you read books, and you listen to what these self-help gurus have to say, they always talk about thinking positive, staying in a high vibration, making sure your frequency doesn't drop. Oh no, you don't want to think bad things because then you will attract it. Ah, They all saying that BS, right? And I mean, there's some truth to it. However, however, being positive 24 7 is absolutely bullshit, bro that is bullshit. there's no way you can be positive 24 7 plus being positive 24 7 completely cuts you off from the negative emotions that we all have you're meant to experience the negative emotions anger rage passion disappointment you're meant to experience that bro that's part of life. So listening to these self-help gurus, stay positive. You feel anger? No, that's wrong. How is anger wrong when it is inside of all of us? Being positive 24 seven makes you unauthentic. Being positive 24 seven completely cut you off from the other half of the spectrum of your emotions. You don't even get to be your fullest expression of yourself because you're trying to be positive 24 seven. Now you're not even the fullest expression. You're just this fake and authentic. Stay positive, love and light. You're fake. You are fake. You need to be yourself. If something makes you mad, say that shit. This makes me f mad. If something makes you f rage, nigga, f rage. Why would you completely cut off who you are and be inauthentic just to remain positive? Uh-uh. I hate that message. I never agreed with that message. And I don't think y'all should listen to that message either. Being positive 24-7 sets you up to fail. Because you can't be positive 24-7. Stop trying to be positive 24-7. Be who you are. Feel that anger. Feel that rage. Feel that depression. Feel that sadness. Feel it all. Feel that despair. Feel all of those emotions because that's what life is about. That's what makes you feel alive. Listen, listen, I already know there's going to be people in the comments that say, nah, man, you want to stay positive all the time. You always want to have a positive outlook on life because if you don't, you can really get down on yourself and you can just fall into a downward spiral. I hear you. I hear you. Just like how I said you don't want to be positive all the time. Guess what? You don't want to be negative all the time. You have to have a balance, yin and yang. Sometimes in life, you got to be negative. You got to see things for negative light because that may be the truth. Let me give you just one example. Let's say you're driving in the hood. you in South Central LA, driving in the hood. You're feeling good. You're chilling, right? You see some dudes on the corner. They dressed in all blue. Let's say you say, I'm going to think 
positively 24-7. All these dudes on the corner wearing blue, having blue bandanas, look like they might gangbang, but hey, I'm going to be positive and say that they're good, upstanding citizens. You go past them, they bang on you. They take everything that you have in your pockets. They rob you. And you just, ah, why? Now, let's say you have a negative outlook and you're like, oh, look at these dudes over here. They look like they up to no good. I'm going to stay away. I'm going to go the other way. You go the other way, your day is completely fine. You had a negative outlook. It worked out for you. <laughs> Listen, that may not be a good example, but that's the first one that came to my mind. Tell me that's not a real world example. You wanted to walk around and have a positive attitude towards everything 24 seven. Now you got taken advantage of because you were being naive. However, if you have a more realistic outlook on life and you saw those gangbangers and you decided I'm gonna go with my negative thoughts. You just saved yourself. You saved some heartache. You didn't get robbed. The day went great. You see what I mean? You have to have a balance in life. Sometimes you got to have that positive outlook. You have to. Other times you got to have that negative outlook. You have to. So with that being said, I just want you all to know. I just want the gang to know. Don't fall in the trap of always trying to be positive. Don't fall into the trap of always being negative. Life has its ups it's downs. Life has its seasons, just like you. Sometimes you have to have a negative outlook because it's the truth. Other times you have to have a positive outlook because it's the truth. You just need to be authentically yourself. If you're feeling down and depressed, be down and depressed. Don't stay that way, but feel it. You're angry, be angry. You want to rage, nigga, rage. If you're happy, be happy. If you're feeling great, feel great. Be authentically yourself. Gang, gang, I'm going to see y'all next time. Y'all, peace. So froze now